Are we ready for another installment of LG Ball T that I keep calling LGB All T, but it's not. I'm not making it all about trans. Even though I'm trans, I'm not, I'm not doing that. It's LG Ball T by Sexual Erasure. <laughs> hey Spuds, how's it going? It's Jamie, welcome back to another video, your first video on the channel. I don't know, but either way, welcome. I'm very glad to have you here. I very nearly stumbled over my words. I don't know if you're gonna notice that. I shouldn't have said anything. But yes, today we are back with the wonderful, beautiful little ball-shaped cartoons of LG Ball T. Really fighting the urge to say LGB All T, because all is like lower. That just seems to flow. I don't want to erase bisexuality and I want to make it all about trans people because I am a bisexual trans man, you see? That's why. But you spuds seem to really love this video. I love making it, so I'm back with the third installment this year. Oh my goodness, is it becoming a channel regular? Is it gonna become a classic? I think so. But just before we get into the cute cartoons, I wanna talk to you about today's video sponsor, June's Journey. In the very appropriately named June's Journey, you'll follow protagonist June Parker on her quest to solve her sister's murder. Dun dun dun! June's Journey is a hidden object mystery game transporting you back all the way to the 1920s. You don't even need a time machine. The game does it for you. You'll have to find objects hidden within scenes in the game to try and solve the mystery of a captivating detective story. But despite the whole murder mystery storyline, it's actually a very relaxing game to play, whilst also providing a gentle challenge to keep you very entertained. I personally really enjoy playing June's Journey. Mobile games are a bit of me time. It's how I relax when I'm not working, and June's Journey is a very wonderful one to play. There's enough going on to keep me on my toes. I'm not just quick at reacting at memes, but also quick at finding things in scenes. Yeah, I'm not actually that quick, but I still enjoy it. And there's no denying that this is an absolutely beautiful game. The only reason I'm slow at finding things sometimes is because I get distracted by the beautiful art. Extra bonus, it's taught me new words. I did not know what a sconce was before playing this game, and now I do. Do you know what a sconce is? You will if you play June's Journey. So get an escape and help June Parker along this mystery alongside a diverse set of characters. It's available to play on mobile, on iOS and Android, or on desktop through Facebook or Amazon. You can download it for free using the link in my description box, so go check it out. And now on with the cute ball-shaped cartoons. Are you ready? I know what you're up to. You guys want to take away our rights as hetero sexuals. Oh, it's a homophobic ball. <gasps> what? No, we don't. That's not what we want at all. Right, guys? Yeah, we just want equal rights. To marry who we want. To love who we want. Medical care. Oh, yeah. Respect. Recognition. And world domination. The sweating asexual ball after world domination. Equality and world domination. Yeah, but seriously, like, LGBT plus people getting rights do not in any way take away from cis straight people's rights. You, you, you have the rights, they are safe. Don't worry, rights are not pie. One group having rights does not take away from another group's rights. Okay. Wow, Ace, this drink is really good. What's your secret? Is it world domination? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I just added a bit of gender fluid. Help me. These gender fluid jokes. I think I see at least two every time I go to make this video. And I laugh at every single one. Deck the halls with bells and poly. <laughs> bells and poly? Mm -mm. Wait, did you say poly? Yup. Oh no. <laughs> ah! Help us! Oh dear. So gender fluid is a drink and poly is tree decorations. I see, I see. Okay. <laughs> Cute tree decorations though. Hey, this is my friend. Oh hi, I use they them. He uses they them too. Oh. That's like saying, here's my friend Bob. His name is Jim. No, no, why do you introduce him as Bob if his name is Jim? It doesn't make any sense, does it? Oh, I'm sorry. All of you are just Biphobic. Uh, how? How are different sexualities biphobic? Oh, really? <laughs> Sweating. Oh my god, really? Oh, bisexuals right behind me, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, oh, we're the bisexual here. I do not think that other sexualities are biphobic. What? I've heard a lot of people say that pansexuals biphobic and transphobic, and I'm just like, mm, no. I do not see that as an accurate statement. I'm sorry, but I think I'm gay. We should break up. Oh, that's okay. I support you. Oh, jeez. I'm glad that's over. Oh, okay. I feel guilty for not liking him as much as I should, or at all. Have I ever liked a boy? <gasps> Uh, I don't think I like boys. The egg has cracked. 
We all go on this journey of self-discovery, and if the first, second, third, seventh label that you come across that you think is you isn't you and doesn't fit, there's nothing wrong with that. You need to figure out who you are, however long that takes. And actually saying that, you don't ever really need to figure it out. You don't ever need to label yourself as anything. You can just be you. Dad, I want to tell you something. Of course, son. What is it? Oh, is that a little trans ball wearing a mask? Well, I'm trans. Oh, crinkle. <laughs> the, the stern glasses. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I felt like a teacher. Oh, dot, dot, dot. Oh, the trans ball is crying. Oh, coming out to parents is so difficult. <gasps> Hi, trans, I'm dad. Trans-like. Trans -like. <gasps> Trans-supportive father. Oh, hi, trans, I'm dad. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. The weirdest stuff makes me emotional. This is just a little cartoon of little balls. I'm fine. This is just cute, okay? Men. Women. <gasps> Uh-oh. Confused NB screaming. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah, there's not enough gender-neutral toilets. Like, if you go out in public, where are the gender-neutral toilets? A cake. Oh. Oh, this is something asexual is gonna happen. A cake. Wee. Ooh. Of course. Of course, an asexual ball came bursting out of the cake. What else would have happened? <laughs> sniff, sniff. Wow, something smells great. Hi, Pan. What's that smell? It's probably aromatic over there. Incredible scent. For the tenth time, it's aromatic. How do you identify aromatic? I smell absolutely fabulous. Oh, one letter changes so much. Aromantic. Aromatic. Why do we say aromantic and aromatic? Why is it not aromatic or aromantic? Okay, this one has a title saying Jammy Dodger reference? No. Oh my god, why won't puberty just stop? How, da how dare it continue? Hey Spoods, what's up? Hey Spoods! <laughs> is a half trans, half Bible finding out I'm trans. Joey Dooja. <laughs> or Duda, Joey Duda. Oh my god, oh. Hello. I don't know if that's about me. I feel like I'd be really embarrassed if that's not based off me because I'm kind of assuming it is, but it's like, come on, Joey Duda, Spoods, Spoods. I'm gonna call you Spoods. Hey, Spoods. I feel so honored, I think, if this is me. Can I just assume that I am the, that ball in the middle? This is very cool. Hey, what's up with gay? He's been acting strange. Oh, he just got his gaydar updated to the newest model. He's probably just looking for something gay. <laughs> That's my gaydar noise. I'm sorry. Is it like a little hat on top? What is this? It comes with satellite installation. I'm attracted to the opposite gender. We're attracted to the same gender. I'm attracted to shiny things. Oh, hey, look, an old bottle cap. It's like a magpie. So asexuals want world domination, shiny things, and lots of cake. I don't see a problem with any of that. Oh, quivering, shaking, nervous, trans ball. Uh, restrooms. Oh dear. Hi. Gender dysphoria. That that's the voice I decided to give gender dysphoria. Okay, we're just gonna roll with that. Crying on the floor. Um, <laughs> what's wrong with trans? <laughs> mm -hmm. The awkward moment in the beginning of a transition when you've, you've come out, you're living your life as who you are, but you're maybe like not on hormones or you're not, maybe don't always get read as the correct gender. And it's like, well, which bathroom do I use? It's a conundrum. Are you straight? No. Gay? No. Bisexual? No. Confused straight noises. Ah, uh, oh, what, what could this possibly, what does this mean? Oh my goodness, I have no idea. There is more to sexual orientation and identity than just straight, gay, bisexual. There is a lot more than that. <laughs> I appreciate confused straight noises. I feel like confused straight noises would be something that would work in a lot of contexts. And confused cis noises. Mm. Confused cis straight noises. Dad. I have to tell you something. I'm trans. Does that make me a... Oh no, don't do it, don't do it. Transparent, transparent, trans. <laughs> Although I've asked this before, is a transparent and the transparent joke a parent who is trans or the parent of someone who is trans? Or both? Comment down below, because I'm not sure. If aces get garlic bread and arrows get juice boxes, do arrow aces get both? I have twice the power. I mean, yeah, why not? It's either both or neither, right? So why not take both? I've not heard of the juice boxes thing. And garlic bread and juice boxes together? I'm trying to imagine having a piece of garlic bread and an orange juice. I don't know if that would be enjoyable, but I guess you could have one and then the other later. Yeah, just, just have both. 
Oh, what's this? <gasps> a magic lamp. Poof. That was a bad noise. Let me try that again. Poof. I am the genie. What is your wish? I want a Dorito body. Oh no, trans. Don't wish for that. Poof. All right. Wish granted. Enjoy your new life. Ah, oh, crap. A literal Dorito. No, you cannot describe it in that way. Hey, my chair kind of looks like a less pointed Dorito. Mm, yum. I do appreciate the whole Dorito physique goals being turned into a comic book joke though. But that was a silly wish. You need to be very, very, very specific with wishes. Otherwise stuff goes wrong. Like you become a Dorito. Um, um, guess you could say I'm non Binary. I think that's a good joke to end on. I like it. What did you think? Did you like the video? Did you like the third installment of LG Ball T? See, that said it right and I didn't even hesitate. Let me know in the comments down below if you liked it. And don't forget to check out the link in my description box if you want to give June's journey a go. And yeah, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Much love. Bye.